Sailed from Fenris Grokni Goldbeard, sailed upon the longship Speartooth. Freshly forged was Grokni's warband, leading Longfangs, leading Bloodclaws, leading Swiftclaws, leading Wolfguard, leading forth the priests of Fenris. Sell the stars did Grokni Goldbeard, reaving, warring, and defeating, slaying traitors, slaying Xenos, till the cry of Harlan's landing. Sell did Grokni to the planet, to icy forests, granite mountains, of the planet Harlan's landing, toothwort reaving of the greenskins. Many greenskins in their longships laid their blades to Harlan's Landing, slaying many of the mortals, settlers of the icy outpost. Sailing swiftly came the spear tooth, void things hungry, wolf pack hungry, came for battle with the greenskins. Now did Grokni call his brothers, called his wolf guard and ship's captain. Summoned Longfangs, priests and blood cause, called the order of the battle. Strike we for the greenskin longships, hardy beasts of stone and iron, lightly guarded, easy pickings, we will slay them at our pleasure. Out spake one among the blood claws, out spake Lucas, called the trickster, loudly sounded his rebuking of the wolf lord Grokni Goldbeard. Strike we at the Xenos longships, while on planet there is battle, while the men of Harlan's Landing still make war against the greenskins. Angry was the lord's rebuttal, bent upon outspoken Lucas. Glaring at the greening trickster, frowning beard and grinding gauntlets. Save the men of Harlan's Landing? They have failed their sacred duty. They have not dispersed the Xenos. Such lives are forfeit for failing. Strike the longships, then the greenskins. Speaking thusly, words are final. Vilka Fenrika concurring. Locus spurned the Wolf Lord's orders, waiting for the hours of sleeping, speaking then to Captain Yendel, captain of the longship Speartooth. Yendel, counsel me for battle, I am young and yet unblooded, for the battle on Orc longships. Locus brought the Captain Yendel to an unused tacticarum, seized the mortal, gagged and bound him, fixed him to the war room ceiling. Locus seized the rod of office of the captain of the spear tooth, greening up at Captain Yendel. Mirthful spake he to the mortal. Fear not, Captain, they shall find thee. Loosen bonds and then unstick thee. Tell my brothers, Locus tricked thee, seized and stole thine rod of office. Then did Locus lock the war room, Yendel stuck upon the ceiling, grinning mirthful with his bounty. Came he to the bridge of Speartooth, in the quiet hours of sleeping, wielding Yendel's rod of office, spake he thusly to the bridge crew. Wield I now this rod of office. Speak with voice of Yendel Speartooth. Speak with voice of Grokni Goldbeard. Listen thusly, hear your orders. Speartooth sails to Harlan's Landing, approach stealthy, silent running, prep the drop pods in the launch bay, arm them all in death storm pattern. Ask not Grokni or his wolf guard, they have ordered me as Bloodclaw to be messenger for orders. Look is quiet, stealthily smoothly, shield the beard from sleeping Grokni. Did so with much skill and canny, Grokni did not stir from sleeping. Striding swiftly to the launch bays, garbed in armor, bolteretti, claw of lightning, sparking, flexing, Lucas hid within a drop pod, opening a ship wide voxlink, waking wolves and mortals sleeping. I, the trickster, Lucas speaking. Wielding beard of Grokni, Warflord. Catch me swiftly, lest you lose it. 
lose it up on Highland's Landing. Drop pods loosed with Lucas laughing, streaking down to Highland's Landing, steel rain pouring on the greenskins. Steel rain struck upon the greenskins, struck them warring with the army of the main of Highland's Landing. Orcs crashed flat upon the landing, petals of the death storm open, cannons missiles firing fiercely, cutting through the host of greenskins. Lucas howled, bolter roaring, Clarkwick killing amongst the greenskins, laughing with his battle joining, score of slayings is his tally. Greenskins frothing, axes angered, turn from humans back to Lucas, charging for the wolf among them. Lucas slew and goaded greenskins, drawing in more scores for slaying, easily evading axes. Blood claw murder makes sung sweetly. Then came greenskins, large and mighty, tearing through the drop pod fury, weathering with heavy armor that which slew their other swiftly. Lucas trapped a noose encircling, bolter empty, war song calling, did not see the shadow falling, did not hear Morkai approaching. Came the thunderhawks of Speartooth, came on them the priests of Fenris, long fangs, blood claws, and grey hunters. Came the wolf lord, Grokni Goldbeard. Lances speared the greenskin airships, killed the pilots, spitting bullets, failed the pilots, dropping fire, slew the thopters, shooting missiles. Laser lances spearing downwards, keening cannons, hurling hatred. Slew the greenskins in great number. Vilka Fenricar now landing. Murder make upon the greenskins. Bolters biting, chain blades blooding. Red loss streams on Harlan's landing. Such the slaughter on the greenskins. That they break from battle blindly. Fleeing from each bolter volley. Fleeing from the red fangs tearing. Fleeing was the greenskin's folly, for Fenrisian priests of iron landed many battle engines. Lands raiders reaped in numbers greatly, lands speeders harried orcs more swiftly. No orc escaped the bloody tally on the fields of Harlan's landing. Found upon a granite hillock was the blood claw, Lucas laughing. Grockney's beard upon a banner, greenskin bodies all around him. Grockney Goldbeard saw the heathic, shorn of beard and shorn of mercy. Orders Lucas fall before me, till priestly wisdom tells against him. Kill not the blood claw in his folly, he shan't forget your chastisement, if you leave him on this planet. Harlan's Landing has no longships, for the crossing of the Star Void. Harlan's Landing now locks glory, with the slaying of the Greenskins. Exiled are thee, Lucas Trickster! Wait till Rout and King remember, that you wait on Harlan's Landing. Wait till Penitence redeems thee. Thus was Lucas left exiled, on the icy granite helic. Dourface till his brothers left him, then revealed his howling laughter. Laughing for he knew in council, other wolf lords would ask Grockney, wherefore Grockney's beard is missing. Now what is his battle naming? <laughs>